Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A mid-size SUV from Isuzu, the MUX RZ4E LS Automatic, and a luxury large SUV from Mercedes-Benz, the G350D. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two seven-seater vehicles, the Mitsubishi Xpander Cross and the Suzuki XL7 GLX. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the fourth Driven to Serve Award ceremony as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Isuzu. In this edition of Car Review, we take a look at one of the variants of the Isuzu MUX, the RZ4E LS Automatic. When Isuzu Philippines Corporation first introduced the mid-size MUX in the Philippines back in September of 2014, it immediately drew good response in terms of sales and repute. Now in 2020, the MUX continues to generate good sales for Isuzu. It comes in several variants, trim levels, and prices ranging from 1.35 million pesos to 2.14 million pesos. This car review takes a look at the MUX LS 4x2 Automatic, which comes from the lower price range. The MUX LS RZ4E 4x2 Automatic can be described as a handsome mid-size SUV, a solid, if not intimidating or flashy presence at 4,825mm long, 1,860mm wide, and 1,825mm tall with 220 mm ground clearance and 2,845 mm long wheelbase. The thick Levert grille comes in gray, the two-toned front bumper in body color and black. So is the two-toned rear bumper with integrated backup lamps. The side mirrors and door handles are also black. The MUX LS 4x2 automatic exterior also features bi-LED projector headlamps with auto headlamp leveling and integrated daytime running lights, as well as fog lamps and black step board. It also comes with horizontally type rear combination lights with LED positioning lamps. Also adding to a sporty SUV stance are 16-inch aluminum alloy wheels wrapped by 245 by 70 R16 tires. 
Underneath the hood of the Muex LS 4x2 automatic is a 1,898cc inline four cylinder blue power diesel engine with turbo intercooler that generates 150 PS at 3,600 revolutions per minute and 350 newton meters of torque from 1,800 to 2,600 RPM. The engine sends that power to the rear wheels via six-speed automatic transmission with sequential shift. Controlling the MUX power and speed is a brake system using front and rear ventilated discs. The suspension system features independent double wishbone with coil spring and stabilizer bar in front and five link coil spring and stabilizer bar. The MUX sits seven in three rows of seats in a spacious, comfortable cabin. Convenience features in the MUX LS 4x2 automatic include speed sensing auto power door locks, air conditioning with two dial manual control with rear cooler controls, a charging station with 12 volt accessory socket and USB port. The dash features an electroluminescent instrument panel and the infotainment system in the center featuring an eight inch touchscreen. Safety and security features in the MUX LS 4x2 automatic include, among other things, dual airbags, ELR seat belts for all seven occupants, child seat tethers on the second row seats, anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, brake override system, child-proof rear door locks, and a resin under front skid plate. The MUX doesn't come with all the gigaws and fancy techie stuff of its costlier siblings, but what it does have makes for reliable, comfortable, practical yet fun drive vehicle. SUVs now come in all sizes, trim levels, powertrains, and styles, meeting many combinations of needs, wants, tastes, and budgets. The Isuzu Mu X lineup should be a good place to start when looking for one. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu owners in La Union will soon have a dealership to take care of their vehicles. Isuzu Philippines and One Maharlika Motor Sales and Services Corporation have signed the contract that will see the newly built Isuzu La Union dealership opening soon. The signing on December 3, 2020 comes exactly one year after groundbreaking ceremonies were held for the construction of the building and facilities that will now be the 45th Isuzu dealership in the country. The expansive 7,300 square meter Isuzu La Union dealership located along the National Highway in Barrio Paringao features the new Isuzu outlet standard 
at least 3,000 square meters of the facility are allocated for the showroom and service area that can accommodate multiple vehicles. Isuzu Loanyuan is expected to offer the full roster of brand new Isuzu LCVs and CVs, such as the Muex SUV, the D-Max pickup, the Travis lightweight truck, as well as the N-Series, F-Series, and C and E-Series trucks. Mitsubishi owners can now easily use their phone to set and manage their vehicle service, repair, and test drive bookings, and keep track of their vehicle's service history. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines has launched a mobile phone app that can help Mitsubishi vehicle owners find the nearest dealership or service center and conveniently book service appointments with any of the car distributors' 53 authorized dealers nationwide. The Mitsubishi Service Connect app can be downloaded from Google Play and Apple Store. The new service is also available online via desktop web browser through www.mmpc-customer.autoleap.com. The app lets customers register their personal details together with their Mitsubishi vehicles to create a profile that allows for easier and faster service booking and vehicle monitoring experience. A cool feature is that Mitsubishi vehicle owners can provide ratings and reviews about their appointment and booking experience. Aside from providing address and contact information for each dealership, customers may filter the list of dealerships according to their ratings based on customer feedback made through the mobile app. Mitsubishi says this will help further improve the after-sales customer experience and immediately address servicing concerns. For many, December is a magical month for celebrations. Honda Cars Philippines is looking to make it so for car buyers with its Feel the Magic This Holiday Season promo. The promo features different cash discounts, exciting deals, and special offerings until December 31, 2020. Low or all-in down payments are offered for the City, the Brio, CRV, and the HRV. Cash discounts are also offered for the BRV, Civic, and the Civic Type R. Owners of Honda motorcycles planning to buy Honda cars also get special discounts of 5,000 pesos for the all new city, BRV, and Mobilio variants. Then there's also the referral reward of 5,000 in gift certificates, as well as BPI Family Bank exclusive offers of flexible financing for the BRV and the all-new city. A Petron value card comes with every purchase of a Honda. And Honda owners shouldn't forget to register and provide their contact information in the microsite link at hondafield.com raffle to get a chance to win a Honda Brio as well as other valuable e-raffle prizes. December is the season of Thanksgiving and we would like to extend our gratitude to customers by providing them with all our best deals and exclusive offers, says Masahiko Nakamura, Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated President. Ford Philippine is celebrating the milestone of selling its 10,000th Ranger Raptor by giving away five of its best-selling pickup trucks. Buyers of Ford vehicle until December 31, 2020 will earn one raffle entry that will give them a chance to win a brand new Ranger Raptor. If they acquire a Ford vehicle through an East-West Bank auto loan transaction, they get two raffle entries. Five Raptors are up for grabs tax-free. The Ranger Raptor raffle promo is our way of celebrating our 10,000 Raptor owner milestone as we want more Filipino customers to own and drive the Ranger Raptor and enjoy its segment-leading features and capabilities," said P.K. Umashankar, Ford Philippines Managing Director. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back.
do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Seize every moment, even the unexpected ones. The all-new Ford Territory. Own the moment. Choose your destination, your rocket. Choose ignition. Choose your world. Choose the X1. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Seven-seater SUVs and MPVs are much sought after by Filipino families, especially those with two children and counting. Families need the space and versatility of vehicles that feel comfortable and secure in both urban and countryside settings. Two seven-seater options are the Mitsubishi Expander Cross and the Suzuki XL7 GLX. The Mitsubishi Expander Cross and the Suzuki XL7 GLX may have started out as MPV or multi-purpose vehicles but through the magic of cladding, aero kits, and suspension upgrades are now being sold as SUVs. This is especially true for the Expander Cross, which thanks to cladding and kit, redesigned grille and bumpers, and lifted suspension system, now stands at 4,500 millimeters long, 1,800 millimeters wide, and 1,750 millimeters tall with 2,775 millimeter long wheelbase and 225 millimeter ground clearance. It arrived with the redesigned grille and bumper, black fender arches and side body moldings. Side and tailgate garnishes features LED headlamps, rear LED combination headlamps, new roof rails and shark fin antenna. Adding to SUV aspirations are the 17-inch two-tone alloy wheels wrapped by 205x55R17 tires. The Expander suspension system features front McPherson struts with coil spring and stabilizer and torsion beams in the rear. The Suzuki XL7 GLX fits into the subcompact SUV segment at 4,450 millimeters long. 1,775 millimeters wide and 1,710 millimeters tall and a 200 millimeter minimum ground clearance. It comes with a bold front grille, black wheel arches, roof rails, side protection moldings, front and rear bumpers with underside protectors, DRL looking like the sharp end of a katana, rear combination lamps, the custom 16-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 195 by 60 R16 tires. The XL7 suspension system features McPherson struts with coil spring in front and torsion beams with coil springs in the rear. The Expander Cross is powered by a 4A91 1.5-liter inline-four 
DOHC, 16 valve engine with my VIC, which generates 104 PS at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 141 Newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM. The engine drives the front wheels via a four-speed automatic transmission. Under the hood of the Suzuki XL7 GLX is a 1,462cc four-cylinder gasoline engine with 16 valves and multi-point fuel injection that generates 103 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 138 newton meters of torque. Power and torque is transmitted to the front wheels via four-speed automatic transmission. The Expander Cross has a roomy cabin for seven passengers on three rows of seats with 232 configuration. Seats are upholstered in two-tone leather. Second and third row seats that fold flat provide flexibility for hauling passengers and cargo. It comes with a lot of storage spaces for gear, gadgets, and beverage, power outlets in all three rows, and keyless operation system for entry and engine start, and white-lit high-contrast instrument cluster. The three-spoke steering wheel clad in leather with stitching, tilts, and telescopes and comes with buttons and controls for audio, cruise control, among other functions. Infotainment comes from a two-din multimedia system with a 7-inch touchscreen with radio tuner, MP3 player, USB, auxiliary input, Bluetooth with mirror link feature for Android OS, an amber color display, and six speakers. The Suzuki XL7 can sit seven comfortably in fabric and PVC leather upholstered seats. The front seat slides and reclines. The driver's seat also adjusts for height. The second row seat split folds 60-40, slides and reclines, and has a one-touch control for easy access to the third row seat for two. The third row seat splits 50-50 and also reclines. The XL7 comes with keyless entry and push start system. The meter cluster on the dash has red accents for speedometer, tachometer, and the subdials and a 4.2-inch LCD that displays info, such as driving G-force, engine horsepower, and torque. Standard interior features include automatic air conditioning, central door locks, power windows, power-adjustable and folding side-view mirrors. The leather-covered D-shaped steering wheel with controls for audio and phone, and that adjusts for tilt. Also found in the XL7 are ventilated cup holders beneath center console, smartphone holders, auxiliary, and USB portals on center console. Infotainment system comes from a 10-inch touchscreen that plays video and audio with Bluetooth and USB connectivity, compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and is integrated with a rear parking camera. The Expander Cross comes with many of the standard auto safety features, including SRS airbags for driver and front seat passenger, three-point ELR seatbelts for seven, with the driver and front seat passenger benefiting from pretensioners, and child seat ISO fix and tether anchors. Mitsubishi also adds driver assist technologies to the Expander Cross, such as active stability control, traction control, hill start assist, as well as the anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution. The brake system uses 15-inch ventilated discs in front and rear 9-inch leading and trailing drums with a 10-inch master vacuum brake booster. Standard safety and security features on the Suzuki XL7 GLX are 3-point ELR seatbelts for 6, a 2-point seatbelts for middle second row passenger, dual airbags, two ISOFIX child seat anchors, side impact door beams, door sensing security alarm, and engine immobilizer. The XL7 also comes with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability program, and hill hold control. The brake system uses front ventilated discs and leading trailing drums in the rear.
there are a lot of good options for families looking for 7-seater MPVs or SUVs, or even crossovers. Both the Mitsubishi Expander Cross and Suzuki XL7, depending on budget, can be excellent choices. fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Seize every moment, even the unexpected ones. The all-new Ford Territory. Own the moment. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists has named winners of the 4th Driven to Serve Awards and fed them individually and, of course, online. Special feature takes a look at the awardees and their award-winning works. Corporate Social Responsibility, or CSR, is no longer just buzzwords that companies pay lip service to as part of public relations. Many companies have come to realize that CSR projects pay off in many ways. Yes, it is good public relations, but more than that, many CSR projects benefit communities, society, the environment, and the economy. For years now, Members of the local automotive industry have made CSR projects a major part of their annual business strategy and programs. And since 2017, the Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists, or SPMJ, has been recognizing the CSR projects of automotive companies through the SPMJ Driven to Serve Awards. The Driven to Serve Awards recognizes the most outstanding corporate social responsibility projects of the local automotive industry in the field of community development, protection of the environment, education, and road safety. We are giving the fourth SPMK Driven to Serve Awards at a most extraordinary time in our history. In the last nine months, the world was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Amid the struggle to save lives and protect communities and give livelihood to those who have lost their jobs, Good men and women step up and help strangers. 
there was an amazing number of good deeds that were Food packs to frontliners, grocery packs to the jobless, buyers for products sold by small businesses, free training for programs for new skills. And even with the anxious equation, good people lighted up the world with hope. Long before the pandemic inspired individuals and companies to embark on programs to help communities. The SPMJ also aims to encourage automotive companies to improve on existing CSR efforts and for others to follow suit with their own. The fourth Driven to Serve Awards, 16 official CSR project entries from nine automotive companies were evaluated by a panel of judges composed of Attorney Romulo Kimbo Jr., Senior VP, Communications and Stakeholders Management of Enlex Corporation. Mr. Sergio Ortiz Luis Jr., Honorary Chairman and Treasurer, Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Mr. Linus Canamoy, National Sales Manager, Clorox International Philippines Incorporated. Charmaine V. Canillas, General Manager, Petron Foundation. Ms. Belen Fernando, President and Board of Director, Magna Anima Teachers College Incorporated. And Ms. Catherine Marie Cabrillos, Manager, First Philippine Holdings Corporation. This was set back in February, and the winners were supposed to be named during the Driven to Serve awarding ceremonies to be held at the end of March. However, the COVID-19 pandemic intervened and the awards night was postponed. As the year is ending, with community quarantine restrictions still in place, the SPMJ has decided to hold separate virtual ceremonies for winners of the fourth Driven to Serve Awards. Six CSR projects garnered awards in the field of community development. The Rainwater Harvesting Facility System Expansion Project of Hyundai Philippines garnered a platinum award. The project involved establishing a rainwater harvesting facility at Tarawang Elementary School in Barangay Tandang Kutyo in Tanay Rizal. Hyundai donated to the Tanay Municipality a converted Hyundai HD36 light truck to be deployed to collect and deliver potable water to communities. The ongoing project helps provide communities with safe, potable water. The Alagam Breast Friend Project of Hyundai Philippines earned a gold award. Hyundai teamed up with UP Philippine General Hospital and the UP PGH Cancer Institute to establish the Alagang Breast Friend Mobile Diagnostic Clinic using a customized H3050 luxury van equipped with state-of-the-art mammography and breast ultrasound facilities. The Mobile Diagnostic Clinic makes the round of underserved communities to raise awareness on breast cancer and offer free screening for early signs of breast cancer. The TMP Foundation Breast Cancer Awareness Project of Toyota Motor Philippines garnered a silver award. The project, part of TMPF's medical outreach program, benefited teachers of Pulong Santa Cruz Elementary School and other schools in Santa Rosa, Laguna. The project raised awareness among the teachers about the disease, supported them in its early detection, and encouraged them to speak proper health care as necessary. The Building Healthy Communities Project of Ford Group Philippines earned a silver award. The project involves holding medical missions in various communities, providing free basic medical and dental treatment, as well as medicines and supplements. A health capacity building program is undertaken to enable and empower local residents to come up with initiatives to address health concerns in respective communities. Board has been recognized since four years ago uh, on our efforts. Of course, we, uh, we are doing this uh, not really to, for us to be recognized, but mm -hmm. this is something that uh, we, we truly appreciate. The partnership with Habitat for Humanity or Voluntary House Painting Project of Nissan Philippines achieved a bronze award. 
Nissan employees volunteered to help paint 40 housing units for less fortunate members of communities, being supported by the Habitat for Humanity Philippines in Tanza, Navotas. In line of our vision in enriching people's lives, we are continuing our community engagements with um, communities that have been impacted by, um, um, by certain elements in our society. And right now, we are continuing that effort with our pandemic uh, response uh, projects. The Maxis V80 Flex Ambulance Donation to Hospital Lang Tondo garnered a bronze award for Maxis Philippines. Maxis Philippines supported Mayor Francisco Domagoso's promise to bring real change to Manila, including improving health care services, by donating a Maxis V80 Flex Ambulance to the Hospital Lang Tondo. It is an honor for us to receive this award to acknowledge our efforts to help our community particularly in Tondo, which is the largest and most populous city in Manila. Having grown up in the streets of Tondo, when we approached Mayor Isco Morena, it was instinctive for him to channel this ambulance donation to the community closest to his heart in Tondo, particularly in the hospital in Tondo. As of date, the Maxus B-80 CERB, or the Special Emergency Rescue Vehicle, serviced more than 180 ambulant calls and requests per month. I just want to assure our colleagues, the Maxus Philippines team will continue to look for ways to help out our community in what, whatever way we can. Four CSR projects earned awards in the field of education. Hyundai Philippines garnered another Platinum Award for its Hyundai Dream Center Philippines project. The Hyundai Dream Center Philippines project provided world-class and state-of-the-art automotive training and education to marginalized Filipino youth. More than 80% of graduates of the TESTA certified training programs at the center got employment in local Hyundai dealerships. This fourth edition uh, of this award is momentous uh, for her. This uh, fantastic trifecta. Okay, two of our strategic CSR programs, the Hyundai Film Center and the Hyundai Rainwater Project, won platinum. It's really um, for us being the first to receive this award, and of course, and that's the ultimate award. Of course, the Alagang Breast Friend Award is also the gold award. Thank you, which is why we at Harry Foundation. Uh, would like to thank so from the bottom of our hearts thank you for this recognition thank you for the coverage of our activities through the years and thank you for your continuing interest the Hyundai Rainwater Project and the Hyundai Dream Center Philippines in behalf of Harry Foundation I'm, I'm more than happy to receive this award and the Driven to Serve Awards so, of SPMJ and I do hope that you serves as my continuing inspiration so that we will continue to persevere and carry on. Ford Philippines also earned a gold award for its Ford Automotive Technician Scholarship Program. Ford partnered with American Chamber Foundation of the Philippines to establish a scholarship program for underprivileged high school students to undergo a 15-month automotive mechanic vocational course at the Don Bosco Institute Technical Vocational and Educational Center. The scholarship covered tuition, school supplies, miscellaneous, and graduation fees. The TMP Foundation Vegetable Project got a gold award for Toyona Motor Philippines. This project supported the existing feeding program of TMP Foundation's adopted school, the Pulong Santa Cruz Elementary School, by providing vegetable seedlings, planting materials, garden tools and workshops on vegetable gardening. The project taught students the importance of eating vegetables and how to grow them. SPMJ challenged us to align our projects, to standardize our processes, make it replicable to those who would like to copy it. So maybe in the future, this can be a studies for 
college students taking up uh, business courses. Isuzu Philippines Corporation garnered a gold award for its Isuzu JZGM SAT Automotive Servicing Partnership Project. Isuzu conducts specialized training for diesel engine technology for students taking up automotive servicing course at the Jacobo Z. Gonzalez Memorial School of Arts and Trades. Isuzu also donated new engines and vehicle lifters for students to conduct practical exercises on service and repair of diesel engines. I am truly honored to accept this award on behalf of the <laughs> Philippines Corporation. This truly shows the testament of Isuzu to the society of being its responsible partner by providing the youth with opportunities to better their lives and uplift the community. Our partnership with Jacobo Z. Gonzalez Memorial School for Arts and Trade and TESDA has been instrumental in delivering our commitment to life and we fervently hope that the young men and women trained in automotive servicing will continue the legacy of excellent service, which ISUSU stands for. Two CSR projects in the field of environment achieve gold awards. Toyota was again a recipient of a gold award for its Start Your Impossible National Coastal Cleanup and Mangrove Planting Day. The project mobilized volunteers to conduct simultaneous cleanup and mangrove planting in 35 coastal areas nationwide. The Forest for Life Movement Project earned a gold award for Honda Cars Philippines. This Honda project began in 2010 and has already planted a total of 50,000 trees in over 36 hectares of damaged rainforest. Each year, 200 volunteers joined a tree planting in partnership with Haribon Foundation. Throughout the years, Honda has been known for its numerous deforestation efforts and road safety initiatives here in the Philippines. As a way of giving back to the Filipino community for its support to Honda throughout the years. As a mobility company, we at Honda believe that it is our responsibility to not only to provide quality products and services to our customers, but also to help improve the quality of their daily lives. Through our CSR efforts, we aim to help restore community and ecosystem by addressing environmental problems such as climate change and air pollution by planting 50,000 trees over the past 10 years. Four CSR projects concerning road safety earned awards. Ford got another gold award for its Driving Skills for Life initiative. The DSFL project is a global CSR initiative of Ford that provides classroom training on, among other things, vehicle handling, driving in special conditions, anti-distracted driving, fuel-efficient driving, as well as hands-on driving simulation. Since 2008, the DSFL program has trained over 23,000 Filipino drivers. For Ford, it's really, uh, CSR is really very important you know it's really at the core of uh, the way we do business not just in the philippines but also uh, globally through all these things and the initiatives that we've been doing i think now more than ever i could honestly say that doing uh, csr has become more significant now more than ever especially now that we are at this cusp of pandemic recognizing uh, the good deeds of the company, the automotive companies. It's really called for now more than ever because this serves as a motivation, especially at this time where a lot of people also do really need our help. A lot of stakeholders do really need um, support from uh, companies and uh, we just look forward to being able to contribute and uh, being able to provide support and make a difference hopefully in the lives of many even during the pandemic and even after hopefully when we're all out there and we're all enjoying each other's company uh, again. A silver award was given to Honda Cars Philippines for its Teen Smart Road Safety for Teens project. Honda partnered with the Department of Education, the local government of Santa Rosa, and the Honda Safety Driving Center 
to conduct interactive seminars on road safety for senior high school students in Santa Rosa, Laguna. We also aim to increase road safety awareness through various programs that would be educating the youth and provide a collision free society. Through this initiative, we aim to ensure the safe and sustainable society for the next generation in line with Honda's 2030 vision. The Suzuki Safety Scouts Project earned a silver award for Suzuki Philippines. Suzuki initiated the Suzuki Safety Scout Project to build a nation of responsible drivers and passengers and to spread road safety awareness among Filipino families. Our commitment talaga for this um, for this Suzuki Safety Scout is to go beyond the usual um, the usual commitment of just providing good car good quality cars to our customers. We want to go further by influencing the youth nowadays. So we've been doing this since 2018, and this pandemic hasn't stopped us from um, still continuing with our advocacy. Volkswagen Philippines garnered a silver award for its Volkswagen Child Safety Initiative. This project involves teaching basic road safety to children through interactive play. It seeks to introduce early childhood safety awareness among children 4 to 12 years old while imparting important road safety habits to their parents. On behalf of Volkswagen Philippines, um, we'd certainly like uh, to thank SPMJ and taking this lead and recognizing our small and humble effort to do our part in terms of increasing road uh, safety awareness. The automotive industry, especially with Toyota as the market leader, has been one of the first responders who right away attended to the needs of our countrymen. And uh, we understand that everybody is going through difficult times and we understand that the categories, as you said, maybe there needs to be a special category for this year because of the extraordinary efforts that we have done in terms of COVID relief. And still, we are excited to listen to to hear about your um, new projects and we are confident that there, there will be a lot of entries when we call for entries in the coming weeks. Almost all companies worth their stock have corporate social responsibility programs and projects. What these projects and how they are executed reflect the kind of company or corporation they are. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car view this week. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class has perhaps achieved iconic status among SUV enthusiasts. Its boxy design is distinctive and easily recognizable while its off-road capabilities gets the respect of serious 4x4 aficionados. The latest addition to the local G-Class is the G350D the diesel-powered Benz SUV.
The G350D has all the qualities to aspire for a premium SUV, but this comes with a steep 8-digit sticker price. However, it may be worth taking a look as the local off-right Mercedes-Benz distributor, the Autonation Group, has been holding a fire sale of sorts of its premium luxury models. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.